Hey, welcome back to Mama Tried. I'm Juliette, and today we are going to be making a diaper cake. I've never done this before. I watched a couple of TikToks on how to do it, but none of them are as cute as the one that I am about to make for my best friend's baby girl. So let's go ahead and get started. I got size two hampers. I was going to get newborn or size one, but then I realized how small they were, and I want this to be like a little bit bigger of a cake and I also want her to enjoy it for a while and not have to use it like right away so that way maybe she can use it as decor in the nursery. Also, I know with showers or at least with my shower, people tend to buy more newborn stuff than anything else. So I figured I'd be helping her out by buying size two instead of newborn. Now that I have all of the diapers out, I'm going to start rolling them up and I've got some random rubber bands <laughs> that I use for Lefty's hair. I forgot to buy rubber bands, but it doesn't really matter because you're not gonna be able to see the color of them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start rolling and cue the time lapse now. For the first like, I don't know, five or so diapers, I was rolling them bottom to top and so whenever I put the rubber band off it makes it look like this and whenever I roll it the other way it makes it look a lot better so I'm going to re-roll these. I am done rolling all of the diapers. That took a lot less time than I thought it was going to. And probably because I did use like little girls hair elastics, 10 out of 10 recommend doing that because you just need it to go around one time. You don't have to go over it multiple times. So that made it really easy. And now we need to start assembling the cake. Also, warning, if you decide to do this, it's going to give you some major baby fever. Luckily, this is for my best friend's baby, and I know that she will let me smell her whenever I want. From what I saw online, you should have some sort of a dish and then like a paper towel holder. This is more than a paper towel holder, but this is what I had. So now I'm just gonna start assembling the diapers around this guy. until I get my desired amount, I guess. Now I'm going to get some string to kind of hold it together because I don't want it to fall apart and I want it bigger than just this. I just got some random string or ribbon and that way I can kind of tie it together. And I just tied this ribbon in a bow so that way whenever I make it bigger, I can untie it and tie another one around it. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but it makes sense in my head. So hopefully you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> So that is the first row. I have no idea how many diapers are in here. I know it's a pretty solid amount though. Now I'm just going to make the next tier 
and I'll probably do three tiers since I have enough. This is almost like a game of Tetris. Oh my gosh, once one fall, they all fall. Yeah, this diaper cake's gonna be pretty big. This is not big enough in my opinion. I want it bigger, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Okay, bottom layer is done. Now I'm going to add some more onto the middle layer and then some more onto the top layer and then I should be finished. I have no idea how many are on each layer. I wish I would have counted for you guys, but I didn't, I just kind of made it work. So I just basically made a base layer and then I added layers to it, if that makes sense. So that way I could use all of the diapers. And I think it's a pretty even distribution of them, but this is not the cute part. I have some really cute, decor that I picked up for this so she's kind of like leaning towards the boho muted rainbow type of vibe for the nursery so I picked up this really cute little lamb that has a rattle inside from Walmart I'll try to link things if I can um, and then I picked up these from Hobby Lobby which are just so beautiful and then I'm going to use this ribbon hopefully I have enough Oh, definitely don't. Oh yeah, definitely don't have enough for that. I do have other white ribbon though, so I might just make this the middle and then I'll do white ribbon for 
the other ones. So I'm going to add these in and then I picked up these little lights from Walmart as well. I'll have to get up close and show you guys all this stuff actually. So here is the sweet little lamb. And then I got these lights. These are the little flower pieces that I got from Hobby Lobby. There's two of them. And then I'm going to have the lamb hold this. Go ahead and put this on the middle layer. While the hot glue was warming up, I just went ahead and cut the top off of this and kind of took some stuff out of the packaging. So, I'm gonna make this. exactly where I want it to be. I'm just going to hot glue this on. It's going to be pretty dang cute. Probably the prettiest diaper cake you've ever seen. It better be or I failed. And I just ran out of this one, so thanks for looking out. Now that all those pieces are on there, I'm just gonna take these out. Also, by the way, I've watched zero videos on how to do this part, so. I'm just using my creative brain to do it, I suppose. Which, it's honestly a lot of fun. So this piece is just hot glued on. That way it's seamless, you can't see anything. Good to go. Now I'm just going to start assembling all of the accessories on it. All right, this is the finished product. I am so happy with the way that it turned out. I think that it's adorable and I think that Shane is going to love it. So if you will comment down below if you are in the process of making a diaper cake and that's why you're watching this video or if you just wanted to see how I made it and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps support my channel and also be sure that you're subscribed with the bell notifications on so that way you don't miss any of my videos. I post all kinds of mom friendly content, toddler meal ideas just family meal ideas, toddler learning, mom life vlogs, stuff like that. So I really hope that you'll subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!